Hello, my name is Ryan Page, and I'm an application specialist for Techless Structures. Today, we will be discussing getting started with Techless Structures, and we'll be focusing on starting the software for the first time. Specifically, some of the points we're going to cover are choosing your Techless Structure setup, how to know if the correct environment is installed, and the functions and tabs of the home screen. To begin, open Techless Structures. Once the splash screen has made its appearance, then the Choose Your Setup dialog box will appear. If this is your first time opening Tecla, then it should look similar to what's being shown, and we're going to need to make a couple of selections. Going forward, however, Tecla will remember what you have chosen in this dialog box, so if you continue to use the same settings time after time, usually all you'll have to do is just click the OK button down at the bottom right. First, you need to choose your environment. These are settings that are local to your region of the world. For this video, we are going to use the US environment. If all you have is a blank project, then pause here. The environment was not downloaded or installed, and you will need to do so before proceeding. The environment, which is a separate installation, should have been downloaded and installed at the same time as the Tecla Structure software. If this is not the case, please contact your system administrator. If you happen to be your system's administrator, then you may need to proceed to downloads.tecla.com. Then, choose the Download from Tecla Structures, select your version of the software, the current version will always be listed at the top, and then navigate to Tab 3, Environments, and choose the appropriate environment, such as USA, to download. Ensure Tecla is closed and run the Environment Installer. Once this is done, you can reopen Tecla and resume the video from this point. So let's go ahead and choose the US environment. Next, we were going to select our role. There are many to choose from, including both imperial and metric versions of each. Roles will affect some of the options available within Tecla structures. For example, selecting imperial cast in place will hide, but not remove, most steel detailing custom components or related reports and filters specific to that industry. For our demonstration, we are going to choose the imperial cast in place role. Lastly, we must select our configuration. This is directly related to the type of license you have for Tecla structures. You may not see all the options I'm displaying, and this is to be expected. Please choose the option that is available to you and is most directly related to the type of work that you do. For this video, we will choose Construction Modeling. Lastly, you also have the ability to check or change the license server for your Tecla structures. It's recommended that you don't alter the setup unless you have prior knowledge of the server's location and settings. If you don't and you need assistance, please contact your systems administrator. If you happen to be your systems administrator and still require assistance, please feel free to reach out to the Tecla Structures U.S. support team. You can reach them by email at support.tecla.us at trimble.com. Please note that by default, the Tecla License Server Administration tool does automatically set your server address to 27007 at your computer's name. And that is what's being displayed on screen for our demonstration. If you or an administrator installed Tecla structures and did not specify an alternative address, then this is most likely the format of your license server. However, if you're still having trouble and all else fails, go ahead and contact Tecla Structures US support team. With that aside, once we've chosen our environment, role, and configuration, we can go ahead and click the OK button down at the bottom right of the dialog. Tecla will then complete booting up and bring us to the home screen. Now that the home screen is up, let's go ahead and take a closer look. You'll notice that we have four different tab headers at the top right, and depending on which one you choose, this will give you access to either your current models or the ability to create new ones. Over on the right-hand side, we have our information side pane. This pane provides information on our current setup, which should look pretty familiar, as well as an area for any official notifications from Trimble. When new service packs or software versions are released for Tecla structures, you can find those announcements here. Below that, we have a hyperlink to our Techler User Assistance page. And then lastly, below that, we have another link which will provide easy access to the Techler discussion forums. As for the tabs at the top right, let's start with the Recent tab. The Recent tab will list any recent models you have opened. The models listed here will continually grow over time as you create more and more models, but you always have the ability to kind of clean up this section by right-clicking on any model and choose from one of the three options to kind of clean house. To the right of Recents tab is the All Models tab. This tab acts more of a directory browser. 
This can be useful if you organize your models in different directories or subdirectories. If another user saves a model and you want to open it for the first time, you can use this tab to navigate to its location and open that model. The third tab is for model sharing. If you have a model sharing license and another user in your company or another company has shared their Tecla model with you, you can click the Continue button on this tab. And this will open up Tecla to the Shared Models dialog box in which you can browse and then open different shared models that have been shared with you. And lastly, we have the New tab. This is where you can create a new model for the first time. Simply specify the model name, where you would like to save it, choose your model type, whether you would like to start Trimble Connect at the beginning of the project, and choose the template most appropriate for the type of model you need to create. And with that, this completes our tour of the home screen. This concludes our video. Thank you for watching. For more information on the topics discussed in this video, please see the information listed in the description. For other topics, make sure to visit our Tecla User Assistance webpage for product guides, support articles, tutorials, and more.